Another accused in the Gohati rape shocker, Dipangar Mukia, has been arrested by the police just a short while ago. So this is another big breaking news coming in with regard to the rape incident in Gohati. Another accused in the rape incident, Dipangar Mukia, has been arrested by the police a short while ago. And this takes the total number of arrested accused to seven, while uh, two more are still absconding. So the police have launched manhunt to nap to arrest the remaining accused who are still at large. So altogether, seven accused have been arrested. Dipangar Mukia is the latest to land into police custody. So that is a breaking news coming in from Gohati. Altogether, seven rape accused has been arrested have been arrested by the Gohati police. The investigation is still on. The manhunt has been launched to nap the two other accused in connection with the rape. My colleague Arindam Das joins us over the phone line. Now Arindam, seven accused have been arrested. This shows that, this shows the quick response. This shows the quick response by the Guwahati police, by the Assam police overall. Now Arindam, uh, how about the two other accused, their whereabouts? What is the police investigation providing at the moment? What is the police providing at the moment? Yes, uh, police responded uh, very quickly. In fact, uh, Police are right now able to arrest uh, seven of the accused in this uh, gruesome uh, rape case. Uh, this is a shocking incident which has taken place uh, in Guwahati, in the Boragao area of Guwahati. And uh, this is a shocking incident of uh, gang rape. Uh, and also, uh, this is another shocking incident because uh, the rapists uh, who were uh, involved, uh, they also videographed the entire uh, a great uh, incident and uh, had uh, circulated it and that's how this uh, incident had come to light and after that the people in the locality uh, lost an affair and based on that affair the police uh, uh, launched a manhunt uh, a total uh, nine accused uh, are suspected to be uh, behind this uh, uh, shocking uh, rape incident uh, in Boraga area of Guwahati so right now police uh, is able to arrest uh, Seven of the accused, uh, two are still at large, so manhunt is uh, still uh, going on. Uh, but yes, uh, uh, as you have stated, the police uh, acted very fast, uh, and uh, within uh, 24 hours, uh, police are able to nab seven of the total nine accused in this uh, shocking gang rape incident which took place in Guwahati. Right, Arindam. Now, uh, the Chief Minister of Assam, Dr. Ahmad Biswa Sharma, has been working round the clock for the welfare of women in the state of Assam. He has been advocating for women's safety. He has been uplifting women, you know, particularly women economically, financially. Now, at this point, you know, when the Assam government is doing such a commendable job, these people, these, these misfits, these miscreants, you know, anti-social elements are defaming the name of Assam, you know, uh, now, uh, Arindam does this. This shows that you know this kind of sick mentality has to be dealt with very sternly. Now, uh, what possible, what possible uh, mode of uh, punishment are we looking at, especially you know with regard to, to these rape incidents? Yes, uh, definitely. Some government uh, under the leadership of uh, Chief Minister Dr. Madhubu Sharma has uh, taken a deal or attitude uh, towards all these kind of uh, rape incidents uh, or atrocities on women. And that's how we have seen in uh, previous cases also how uh, police acted fast and in fact uh, uh, arrested uh, the rapists who were involved in these uh, cases. Uh, so in this incident also, uh, the police uh, acted fast and have uh, arrested seven of the total nine accused and two are still at charge. But Police is has launched a massive manhunt to nab the other two. So uh, definitely, it's a, a challenging task uh, for the police uh, uh, as well as uh, the government because uh, uh, the mentality uh, uh, you can understand uh, behind uh, this uh, rape incident of uh, who were involved, the accused, uh, the, the mentality of these accused people, uh, how uh, um, shocking it is. Uh, in fact, uh, the. Some chief minister, Dr. Mr. Bishwas Sharma, had uh, stated uh, earlier also when such incidents took place and police took action that uh, uh, the uh, government can act, uh, the police can act uh, and arrest uh, these uh, uh, rapists or uh, whoever uh, does atrocities on women. But uh, uh, it's a very challenging task to change the mentality 
uh, of the or the mindset of this uh, rapist uh, uh, who are uh, uh, on uh, uh, on the prowl, and uh, that's what uh, is a challenging task uh, for the government as well as the police. Uh, so uh, the law enforcing agencies uh, they can act, they can arrest uh, the uh, accused in this uh, incident, uh, and uh, and it can be uh, uh, pros uh, prosecuted. But uh, for uh, for, uh, for the if you look at the larger picture. The mentality of uh, this rapist uh, that has been a challenging task, and that's uh, what uh, Chief Minister had also stated earlier that uh, we can act by arresting or punishing those who are involved in this incident, but uh, it's a very challenging task uh, to change the mentality of uh, these uh, rapists. Chief in. That's right, that's right, Arindam Das. Thank you very much for all the latest updates. So, out of the total nine suspected to be involved in the alleged gang rape in Kohati's uh, Jalukpari area, seven have been arrested. The latest to land into the police custody is uh, Dipangar Mukia. So, altogether, seven have been arrested. Two are still at large. The Assam police, police have launched manhunt and they are taking all necessary they are taking all necessary approaches to nap the culprits involved in the crime at the earliest. So those are the latest updates coming in.